Hello everyone, my name is Sophia and I'm the content marketing manager for Poshpop. I'm excited to walk you through the Poshpop extension. I think a lot of people are surprised when they hear that I actually use the extension myself for my own Poshmark closet and my family does, my friends, and everyone at Poshpop. It's my absolute favorite tool and it's made a really big difference in my life. So let's get started. After installing Poshpop, you're going to want to click on the puzzle piece in the top right hand of your screen. This will show all of your extensions that you have installed. If you want to save the icon to the top right hand corner for easy access, you can just click on the pin icon. Then we're going to click on the Poshpop logo and the first thing that comes up is the home tab. If you would like to use our free features, you don't need to create an account or sign in. But if you would like to try out one of our upgraded subscriptions for a free week trial, you will need to log in or create an account, but you won't need to add a credit card. So let's start with that. First, navigate to the profile tab. Here you'll have the option to either sign in or create an account. This account is completely different from your Poshmark account information. We don't know or have anything to do with your Poshmark login information. This is a brand new account completely separate from Poshmark. So now we're going to either log in or click on the create an account tab. If you create an account, please verify your email address to start the free one week trial of the upgraded subscription. Now I'm going to go over the profile tab. The top part shows your name, email, and the subscription plan you're on. The next section is the card that will be billed for your subscription each month. Below that, if you need to update your card information, you can do that here. The recent invoices section provides all of your recent invoices for you to view and download them if you need to. You can also provide us with feedback about the extension or if you have any ideas or features you would like added, you can suggest things here to help us make Poshpop a little bit better for you. That is everything on the profile tab, so let's move over to the subscriptions tab. If you have a coupon code, you can enter that here before you enroll in a subscription to receive the discount. Uh, below here is a list of all of our subscriptions and a little brief overview of them. Currently, we have a free, standard, and premium subscription. It also lists the features available with each one. To enroll in a subscription, just click on the Enroll button. To cancel the subscription, just click the Cancel Plan button. If you enroll in the standard plan and decide to switch to the premium plan, your access to the features will switch immediately, but the price difference will be paid on next month's bill. Now let's move over to the notifications tab. After our last extension, we realized how important it is to have up to the minute communication. We now have added the dedicated notifications tab, which allows us to send you messages through the extension. Here you can view all of the messages we send. If there is a new message, a small blue number will appear to show you that you have an unread message. Now to the main extension, our home tab. Here we have it broken up into the task tab and the stats tab. Let's go over the task tab first. It's important to note once you begin a task, a task progress bar will appear and show you how long until the task is done. All right, so now let's go on to the main items. The first thing is the scheduler. Simply click the schedule and select a time or manually type in a time if you want a specific time that's not listed. Then load the page and click the task you want to run. Once the time hits, the extension will run. Next is the task limiter. We know how important it is to remain out of share jail and wanted to provide a feature in case you want to limit the number of shares, follows, etc. Just check the task limit button and enter a number before you begin the task. This is the time delay. Drag the ends of the time you want Poshpop to choose random numbers between. For example, let's say 3 seconds and 10 seconds. Poshpop will select a number between those for each share. Here we have our types of sharing. We currently offer sharing to followers, edit sharing, and sharing to parties. Simply navigate to your closet, set the time interval, and select the share you want. When you start sharing, Poshpop will close to allow you to see your whole closet, but you can just open it back up if you would like. Below that, we have follow and unfollow. Again, navigate to the followers tab, set the time delay, and click follow or unfollow. Below that, we have our offers to likers feature. Here, just navigate to your closet, select the percentage discount you wish to give customers, and click the shipping offer, either $4.99 or free shipping. Then, click the send offers to likers button. For bulk price drop, which is great for closet clear out, navigate to your closet and click the button. Poshpop will drop all of the prices in your closet to 10% off your lowest historical price for that item. The next thing is our closet organizer. To use this, click share to followers and then stop it. 
This needs to be done to ensure that we're on the correct page before sharing so you don't organize your closet and then Poshpop switches the page and deletes it all. While organizing, do not refresh or leave the page before sharing, otherwise everything will be deleted. Organize your closet by dragging and dropping and then share your entire closet to your followers to save the order. Again, very important, make sure you follow the steps I just went over to avoid spending time organizing your closet and then losing it all. Now let's move over to our stats tab. Here you will see all of your stats for both the last task and the past 24 hours. It's important to make sure you stay under the maximum number of tasks to avoid share jail. We have a post on our Instagram page explaining it all. And that is everything for Poshpop. These are the features that we currently offer. We have a lot more to add and are very excited about it. These are just what we decided on for our initial relaunch. We're really excited to hear what you think and what you would like us to add so we can better serve you and your business. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or even ideas, please feel free to contact us using the contact tab on our website. That's all for now. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.